Agency owners, there's about a billion different ways that you can acquire new customers, whether that's cold text, social media ads, networking, Instagram DMs, whatever it could be. But we've had a lot of success with cold email, and I'm gonna show you the same exact system that we're using to send over 2,000 emails every single day and getting an 80% response rate on. And this video is gonna be very action packed. It's gonna move very quickly. It's gonna be very step by step. If anything, just look for one or two things that you can pull from and execute on. And if there's anything in the video that you wanna see more of, leave a comment down below and I will do a deep dive on it. And for those who don't know me, my name is Austin Schneider. I'm the founder and CEO of Brandtegic, which is a marketing agency that I started about five years ago. I mostly do short form video and content creation for the real estate, mortgage, and e-com niche and personal brand as well. And I'm also co-founder of Agency U, where we help agency owners grow their business using step-by-step -step systems, sort of like what I'm going to teach you today. And if you want more information on that, you can click the link down below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen here and we are on. So basically this is just the results from our campaign in the last four weeks. We've sent over 46,000 emails, a 77% open rate, almost a 3% reply rate, which is pretty strong. And then 54 opportunities, 54 leads have come from that. So a lot of people are like, oh, um, I can't do cold email or I'm not getting any responses or I'm not getting any leads. Yeah, because you're sending 150 or 200 or 300 a day and you think that's a ginormous amount. The reality is it's a absolute numbers game. 3% reply rate is pretty strong. So if you are sending a thousand, then you can expect to get 30 people responding to you. How are you able to up the volume so that you can get more replies? and more opportunities that come to you. That's exactly what it is. It's a numbers game. So think about the more people that you're gonna reach out to, the more responses you're gonna get. It's all about numbers, it's all about timing. So the first thing that you wanna do is start building lead lists. Again, a lot of people are like, oh, I, I have a list of 100 people that I'm reaching out to, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, no, you need thousands. So your first step is to get a list of 5,000 potential prospects in your niche that you can cold email. The best way to find a list builder just quickly is simply going to Upwork. So if I go to upwork.com, you can literally find a list builder for um, like $4 an hour. So if I just do list builder, here we go. Here's my list building job. So I literally posted a job for a list builder a couple days ago and just cause I needed some quick data entry and literally my uh, job description is assist with data entry for list of leads, search web based on data and, and enter into a Google sheet, enter the customer and account data from source documents with time limits, compiling, verifying accuracy and source information, blah, 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 blah. And then I literally got over a hundred people applying for this job and I hired two people at $4 an hour. So we can expect people to probably do around uh, 25 leads per hour. So if you hire them for 40 hours a week, then you can expect to get about a thousand leads per week. So if you want to get 5,000, then you need to hire five list builders for a week and that will give you your 5,000 leads. And then as it pertains to like finding directories and making this efficient, the best way is just to really look at where your customers are and finding some online directories. So let's just say you work with realtors, then an easy way to find realtors is simply to go to Zillow or realtor.com and have the list builder scrape data from that. Or you can go to the betterbusinessbureau.com and literally there'll be thousands of local businesses, thousands of businesses that you can have the list builder start to pull and put into a Excel document. We also use tools to make it efficient like Axiom, which is a bot that makes it super efficient to work through the leads and to uh, scrape the data from the leads. We also use LinkedIn Sales Navigator because you can build a list from LinkedIn and then you can literally use a tool called Lynn.ai to scrape all the data from LinkedIn Sales Navigator to create an Excel sheet for you. And then if you're really stuck and you have no idea what to do or where to go, use a tool like LeadSwift or D7 Lead Finder. So those tools, basically what you can do is you can find your target customer based off of a specific niche. If I go to LeadSwift, you can literally type in what your niche is. You can scrape data from LeadSwift and it'll send you thousands of leads within that. So if I wanted to work with real estate agents and I want to get them from Seattle, then I can click search and it will start searching for all of the real estate agents in Seattle and provide me with a list. So whatever your niche is, you can start pulling thousands and thousands of leads from this and then the list builder could then 
verify the information, make sure it all lines up so you don't screw up reaching out to people. Also, you already have a really good starting point to find the list, to find the emails, to, to get started on this. So really there's two ways to get data. One is to uh, leverage technology. So whether that's a lead swift, whether that's a D7 lead finder, whether that's LinkedIn sales navigator, whether that's Axiom, whatever technology is out there that allows you to scrape data efficiently, you should be leveraging. The second way is to just do it manually. It takes a lot more time, but you might be, get better data. You can get more data and uh, have the, the list builder pull everything manually, whether it's from a directory or just from a list of leads that you are wanting. So oftentimes too, when hiring a list builder, like when you're talking to them, make sure they've done this before and they might have tools that you don't know about and tools that they're using to find emails that you have no idea. So for example, like if we find a random company and we don't know them, you can download an app called Apollo or seamless.ai. And what that will do is when you're on their LinkedIn profile, it'll automatically scrape their email and then you can get that email address. So just making sure that the list builder has has tools in place to make them successful. And I don't wanna to dive too in depth with this, but if you want another video on how we're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, for example, to pull thousands of leads every single day, or how we're using Axiom to scrape data from Zillow and Realtor.com, leave a comment down below with a thumbs up emoji, and I will for sure make a second video on exactly how to do this. But I wanna be efficient with this and um, go into more detail on how we're actually scaling the cold email. So the second thing that we're gonna to need to do is by domains and by uh, email addresses. You might think, oh, I can just use my email and send 2,000 every single day. No, your email's gonna be blocked real freaking quick. It's not going to be scalable. So for example, one email, if you're doing cold email from it, should only be able to handle about 50 emails a day. Otherwise, it's going to get blocked. You're going to land in the spam. It's just going to be a complete mess, a complete nightmare. So what that means is you need to buy new domains and you need to get new emails and inboxes set up for your business so that you can send more emails from more different domains and different emails per se. So our process is we use Namecheap. Just for context, we have about 18 or so domains purchased that we're currently sending emails from. And of the 18 domains, we have three emails per domain. So if I do 18 times three, that's 54 emails that we're sending from. And if I multiply that by 50, that's about 2,700 emails a day that we are capped and able to send. You just need to purchase more domains and get more emails. This is exactly how I'm doing. I'm gonna go back to the screen. So our company is called Brandtegic. So when I'm buying domains, I want something to be similar to Brandtegic essentially. So so for example, Brandtegic video, brandtegicvideos.co, brandtegicvideos.com, content with Brandtegic, go brandtegic.co. So I'm gonna see what else is available and what I can start purchasing in order to make it work. Content with brandtegic.com is available. Social with brandtegic.co that is available. And I'm gonna do another one. I'm just gonna do brandtegicsocial.co. And then I'm going to add this to cart. Okay, I'll just do that one. And then it's $29. So confirm order. Um, let's make sure payment method is correct. Pay now. So now I've purchased three domains and this means that I can create three inboxes three emails for each domain so essentially that allows me to send another nine times 50 another 450 emails every single day just by doing this process now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to i'm going to go back to namecheap then i'm going to go to email and i'm going to go ahead and git pro with three inboxes i'm going to use the domain i know i own with Namecheap, and I just bought brainteachersocial.com. So let's use that one. So I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna do three inboxes, perfect. I'm gonna add this to cart. I'm gonna do this and then confirm order, pay now. And now that has been purchased. 
So now I need to create the email. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start creating the mailboxes. So I'm gonna call this one Austin at Brantegic, pick a password, perfect, save changes, create another mailbox. I'm just gonna do Austin S at Brantegic, social. And then I'm gonna do another one, Austin Schneider. And now I also need to update the DNS records. So now I'm gonna go back to my account, domain list, and I'm using Brantegic Social for this. So I'm gonna click Manage, and then I'm going to Advanced DNS. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in there. TXT, value, boom. Next thing I want to do is add in a URL redirect. So if I click here, I want anything brandtegicsocial.com to go to brandtegic.co. HTTP, same thing here. Now that is set up, what we need to do is then create the Gmail account. So, so in order to activate the email, what you'll need to do is go update your MX record. So if you go to advanced DNS from your domain, you add in the NS records, the Namecheap, and then what it provides for you. And then now that that's all set up on the back end, what we want to do is we want to go to private email. And this allows you to log in to your email account and make sure that everything is good. Now what you want to do on your email is add in the name and then add in the headshot. So click edit. You want this to be your first name, last name, or last initial, upload photo. You can just pick a headshot. Here we go. Go ahead and crop it and add it. And then what you want to do is also send an email to this email. So if I go to mail, I'm gonna go ahead and go to compose, Austin at brandtegicsocial.com and just do test and send it. Make sure that we get it. So then we just got this email and what we actually want to do is we want to move it to spam because when we upload it through the cold email platform, basically we need the cold email platform to recognize the spam folder and sometimes it can get backed up a little bit. So once that is complete, you're pretty much ready to go and start uploading it into instantly and start getting the domain warmed up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a couple more domains so I can do this uh, scale and do multiple of them at once. So now at this point, we have three emails set up under one domain. Now what we need to do is we need to upload it into instantly. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how we're going to be able to do that. So what you wanna do is you want to create a instantly account. And basically what we pay is $77 per month or about $100 per month which allows us to send up to 125,000 emails monthly, 25,000 uploaded contacts. I think we are spending a little bit more based on that, just kind of on our capacity and uploaded contacts, because it will scale as you add more people in there. So what we want to do is we want to go to the email accounts and you'll see all of the accounts in here that we have added. So now what you want to do is you want to bulk upload them. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to upload them into instantly. Now I have my little cheat sheet here, which tells me exactly what I can do. So I'm gonna click add new. I'm gonna to go to IMAP. I'm gonna to go to single account just to kind of show you. Let's do Austin at brandtegicsocial.com. You can do bulk uploads. I'm just gonna do this manually just because it's just three of them and I can show you exactly what to do. Then we're gonna do imap.private email.com we're going to do next and then we're going to do smtp dot private email dot com and i'm actually going to change this to 465 smt connected perfect now what we want to do is add a custom tracking domain and call it good so we're going to go here and now we need to go back to our uh, domain. So I'm gonna go to domain list. I'm gonna go find Brantegic Social right here. I'm gonna click manage. 
I'm gonna go on to advanced DNS. I'm gonna add a new record. It's gonna be a C name. And I just go ahead and copy this over. Host is inst, value is this guy. Now I'm gonna do inst.brantegicsocial.com. I'm gonna check status. Sometimes it takes a second and a couple of times to do it. And then for the settings here, I'm gonna do 50 emails a day. I'm not gonna do a reply to just so my inbox doesn't get flooded. Um, everything is pretty much set here. I'm gonna show more, like nothing crazy to change or add, but that's how we're doing it. So sometimes it does take a little bit for the custom tracking domain to actually get set up. So just keep revisiting it and make sure that it is in fact set up. So then all you're gonna do is rinse and repeat for the other two domains. And then the other domains that you're purchasing, you again, just rinse and repeat and get these up to 50 emails a day. It's very important to be patient and wait for this to be warmed up. Because if you're not warming up the domains, then that you're not gonna have success with getting the email sent and getting the emails actually landed into the email. So again, we recommend about two weeks for the emails to be uh, warmed up. But in the meantime, what you can do is you can start creating a campaign, create different campaigns for different niches, for different lists that you're going after. And then you can go to your Unibox and you can see all of the responses from all of the emails that you're getting in the last 90 days, essentially. And then what it'll do is it'll automatically upload them into specific categories, essentially based off of who you're reaching out to, what where they are in the funnel. You can search by specific funnel and see who's responded in specific campaigns that you've actually built out. And then the analytics are pretty strong as well. You can go back as far as 12 months, see how everything is doing. You can go into specific campaigns and you can look at the actual analytics per campaign that will help give you data on where you can optimize, what you can be doing better, maybe you need to adjust your copy, etc. You can also see who's opened the emails, who hasn't opened the emails, export those lists and then re-upload them later on because to me that's more of a high intent prospect and you know that that email is really good. So doing a multi-touch point uh, sort of campaign could be really strong for you. It's fairly affordable for what you're getting. I mean, to be able to send two, three, four, five, sometimes even 10,000 emails a day for a couple hundred dollars, like that's pretty powerful. So now after you upload your emails, basically what you can do is you can create a campaign. So if you click on add new, you can just call this test campaign, click continue. Once you get the leads back from the list builder, essentially what you'll do is you'll then upload them into your campaign. And then you're able to then start building out your campaign and your actual sequences to the campaign. So here's where you import, you go to sequences and now you can really just add different steps and you can wait four days, five days, whatever it could be. I'm not gonna get into it too much. And then also you can add variants. So if you wanted to test a bunch of first emails to see what worked best, you can do the testing within instantly. There's a bunch of different variables that you can use based off of the lead list that you're sending. Then you go ahead and click save and you're pretty much ready to go. You can operate at whatever schedule you want based off of your time zone and in the client's time zone. Uh, you select what emails you want to be sending it from. You select a daily limit, which we typically do about 500-ish, depending on uh, the, the list size. And then uncheck stop on auto reply and we're pretty much ready to go. So that's our process condensed in a shorter version. Hopefully this was helpful. If there's something specific in the video that you want me to deep dive on, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a specific video based off of that. And if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It shows me that I should put effort into adding value to other agency owners like yourself. Otherwise, keep consuming YouTube content and keep getting after it.